Hey yo everyone, welcome back to Book. It's like 12 in the morning, so I'm gonna I'm be I'm gonna be a little hush hush, okay? You no, know, I hate recording at night because I feel like I can't, you know, have as much energy. But uh, I've been slacking on the regular episodes, so I'm gonna try and get these out. Now you may look at my inventory and be like, Game Raiders, why do you have so much stuff in your inventory? Well, they're all boss spawners, and we're gonna fight a certain boss here. If we can tell a theme, there's a couple of Enigma mod. Uh, boss spawners we're gonna be taking on etheria today and possibly the moon lord and we're gonna see about that but we're definitely gonna take on etheria the guardian of ethereal the guardian of the ethereal will consume her prey can only be called at night emblem of etheria so this is a really cool boss um i had to look into information about this i even talked to the mod dev uh logic is his name and i wanted to make sure that i had all the had all the information for this boss what do we need? We need ectoplasm. Because uh, this boss is a little bit different. As you're going to see, maybe you already know. Maybe you watched Fury Forge video when he fought this. But let's figure it out. Let's figure it out together. Let's experience it together. Let's do it. Spawn in. Or make the item. Boom. Doesn't that look good? All these boss spawners. So the reason why I have all the boss spawners is because I was told that the boss actually has... When you're in... You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything until we're in or we get done what we need to get done. But as you can see, some of my inventory items are different. Uh, the last stream I did for Terraria, I've been streaming a lot of Q-World. I've been trying to finish that series up. But the last stream of Terraria, I got pretty much min-max. Got whatever I could. There's probably some better gear I can get, honestly. But we got some good-ass weapons. Let me go through them real quick. Boom. We got this. Great weapon. We got, oh, we got this. Great weapon. We got this amazing weapon this weapon is god tier and we got this it was also just flamethrower and it's pretty good too um i know a lot of them are calamity and i said i'm trying to get unique weapons and stuff i don't remember using the empyrean a lot that is i think i made it i don't know if i used it same thing with the spectral storm and the hell storm don't remember using these i think i remember crafting them i don't know maybe these weren't even in the game I have no idea, but let's go ahead. Let's fight Etheria. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Let's buff up. Let's do it. Etheria time. Wait, just a smiley face. What is there to be scared about? What is there to be scared about? No reason to not go hard on this boss. That's kind of creepy. That is extremely creepy. Kind of cute. <laughs> uh, her face is grinning more and more. Oh, fuck. She's going to take a bite out of me. She's going to take a bite out of me. Ethereal, calm down. I know I look succulent. And there you go, just like that. We are now trapped in the ethereal dimension. You are trapped in my world now. Bismal veins burst through the world. Ethereal has been defeated. Angela Operator has arrived. What a what a beautiful name. I don't know. Oh fuck, the NPCs aren't here either. The music low-key bumping. <laughs> okay. Um so this stuff still works here so we do have to fight her again and i'm assuming the way they the way they want us to fight her is to mine this new ore that's here i don't know what that stutter was maybe it was the ore generating i don't know if you guys even saw the stutter but there's a new ore that generates here we go i'm assuming this is it definitely is, is definitely is it because i have not seen this before no get it get it i don't want it to just be grief in my shit so yeah, I have no idea how this dimension works at all. No idea at all. We're going to use this because this has some good range. Might as well mine all of it. And then we'll just suck it up. No homo type shit though. I don't know how much we need. But uh, let me mine a good bit and I'll be right back. Alright, so I gathered a lot of ore. Bismal. Painful to even touch. Well, I've touched like 300 worth of it. So that feels like a lie. Alchemical infuser. I think it's this. <laughs> I think it's this. Right? 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 Yeah, it is. Okay. Sweet. So let's take that. We're going to stuff this in here. Boom. And let us let us see here. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put all that in here and then hold on to one just so we can do that. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Boom. So we have the armor here, the dismal armor. So let's just start with the ingots first. Uh. Oh, we need ethereal essence, which, oh 
oh god okay something might be up here <laughs> something might be up here so i killed etheria and it says etheria is supposed to drop that essence but the thing is etheria didn't drop the essence oh here we go maybe it's from these things we finally found an enemy it has to be from these things yes okay good so this is how we get it maybe the wiki isn't updated i don't know maybe i just didn't read it right but there you go we ran into our first enemy i don't know how else we were supposed to find enemies because uh, if that's the only way this <laughs> might take extremely long it's all good but there's some weapons we're supposed to make here there's a pickaxe damn look at that power there's avalanche and then bismal blaster and that's called some I don't remember. I was told to make another weapon. I don't remember what the weapon was. Is there actually a solar pillar over here? <laughs> I don't think there is. Doubt. I doubt it. What the fuck it is here? What? All right, so let me try out something here. Um, let's just try and fight a boss and see if that works. Okay, okay. So it does work because you're supposed to make your own spawners, but I tried to be smart and bring my own shit. But look, there's a new AI here crown is floating oh my god you do a lot of damage i should not fuck around here what is going on right now this is not good let's get him out of here let's get him out of here so he dropped ethereal gel we're gonna hold on to that okay we're gonna hold on to that we're gonna stuff everything in here wait no except for that gem what the hell was that it was an accessory we just stuffed in here i don't want that i don't want that get it out of here two of these no get it out of here so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna toss the treasure bag in here okay this is where we're gonna put all our treasure bags and then we'll toss this in here so let's fight queen bee so the queen bee should be different too some bird noise that i just heard the queen bee should be different oh fuck look she's summoning super hornets oh no that's not good all right let's get her out of here before we die we gotta be careful. We gotta be really careful so that we don't die fighting any of these bosses. Let's try a, I guess the sniper. I guess the sniper. So we're using a different type of bullets here. They don't home directly, but they home after they bounce off something. I think they're called terror bullets. Terror, ter yeah, terror bullets. They're not bad at all. They're not bad at all. I really do like homing bullets. Though. That's my only problem with it. But they don't home directly. I have to bounce off of something. Um, that thing took forever to kill. Jesus. So we got some more stuff there. Hold on to that. And then same thing. Hold on. Why did I put it? Put the piggy bank so high up. Toss this in here. Oh, fuck. What did I just do? <laughs> I just tossed something in here. Okay, just type in Enigma and we should find it. Okay, boom. There's that. Toss this in here. There we go. All right, moving on. Next boss. I don't know if we really need to be anywhere specific to fight these bosses. Other than I don't even know if daytime or nighttime affects these bosses either. But we're gonna find out, I guess. So I do want to see the special ability they all have. But what's different, you know? I'm assuming it's in the second phase of this boss. I don't see a difference. <laughs> Maybe it's stronger? I don't I don't know. I don't see a difference. Maybe this wasn't one of the bosses. This probably wasn't one of the bosses because there's no way to actually like get the items all right we're gonna use this then this weapon uh shreds just straight up just shreds still having trouble shredding the golem though the golem is a defensive demon no look it dropped something i don't want to read what any of these do yet until you know we get all of them and i'll read them all at once but uh let's go ahead same thing now I got, i'm not in post moon lord yet so i need all the cash from those treasure bags who else can I fight in the middle of the day? Alright, let's make it nighttime then. Make it nighttime. And let's fight the worm. How did somebody even die? Oh. <laughs> insta kill. Go for the insta kill. Somebody died even though we're not even in the same world. Okay, so these probes. I don't have a health bar. I have no idea what the difference was there. These probes seem a lot stronger though. That might be the buff for this one. Because this flamethrower I'm using does insane damage. If you watch the live stream, this thing destroyed every enemy we fought. But uh, there's that. Enemy has been slain. And 
let's go ahead and toss this in here and toss that in there moving on next enemy we should probably go to an arena or something because that would be smart all right so next on the list skeletron let's try skeletron what was that little Shh. oh fuck you fight two of them that's a dungeon guardian the dungeon guardian wants to throw hands don't tell me he one shots doesn't he he does one shot he has to all right we got one priority here in that skeletron get him out of here see you later baby no homo type shit though toss that boom you know the usual toss it in here uh let's do the eyes now wonder what theirs is gonna be I'm trying to be uh you know selective with our weapons here trying to do some variety because we got a lot of heavy hitter weapons now all these did do great damage when i tested them out okay i don't see a difference so far maybe it's like calamity's eyes i don't know yeah, I'm not seeing the difference for these guys. But hey, if you guys want to look up the difference, check out their wiki. I'm assuming their wiki is filled up for this information. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But uh, that's where I would go if you if you want to check it out. So let's go ahead and toss that in there. Do I really need these tokens? Probably, probably will, honestly, but I don't need them right now. Let's go for sniper. Okay, let's not go for sniper. Let's go for boots to the hell. This guy seems like this. I don't know. I don't see a difference. He seems way faster. Extremely fast. Like he's coming at me really fast with this. And I'm extremely fast as is, so. You know, interpret that how you will. See how, see how fast he is as you will. Because that, that he's moving really quick. Given I have these boots that make me really fast. And maybe even my boots? I'm not sure. Some about speed. Increased movement speed, yeah. So I'm double. I'm super, super fast, and you're still keeping up with me. So I'm assuming that's what his difference is, is that. Okay, moving on. Plantera will find the jungle. Duke will also find the jungle. I don't want to find the rage Duke. Let's do uh, wormy food. Wormy food it is. You know, the corruption's right here. Let's do it. Eater of worlds. Let's see the difference. Looks more blue. Nah, no. <laughs> everything looks more blue here. Not seeing a direct difference so far, other than more health, which I do like. I do like this. I wish they had like a little physical difference, or like physical appearance difference. So I think that would be cool. Maybe like give them, if they have eyes, make their eye glow blue or something. Oh, we got something here. Super Corruptor, okay. So every time you break off a segment, there's a Super Corruptor. Okay, okay. They're low-key a problem, because I'm Kinda of missing some health if we're being honest here. Oh god. Let's uh yeah, let's stop playing around. Let's switch to this one door. We should obliterate everything. Um I'm about to die. We need to end this fight. <laughs> we need to end this fight, like now. It's getting bad. It's getting bad now. Okay. It has been completed. The boss has been defeated. Hey, low key spin some bars right now, or some bars. A lot. But uh that was probably the toughest one yet if I'm being honest. That one did some damage to me. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Are they supposed to be doing this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are they supposed to be dropping all that? Alright, we are back here. After that terrible death, Angela, the operator, has arrived yet again. Good for her. She probably died. Alright, we're fighting train boy. Uh hopefully we don't die from this. I don't know how tough this is gonna be. We're almost already dead. All right, that's enough of fucking around with garbage tier weapons. We're going for insta kills now. We're going for nothing but insta kills. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do they hurt so much? Why do they hurt so much? I hate this so much. Oh my god! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Oh, he didn't die from it. He didn't die from it. Get him out of here this time, for real. Got his ass. All right. So we really shouldn't be messing around with these bosses. Because these bosses ain't messing around with us. So there's no point for me to be goofing with them. I really shouldn't. Alright, place that there. Next boss on the list. Boom. No, it is Slybertron. Uh, I would say Slybertron is my least favorite out of the Steam Trio. Oh my god, my hand. I took my hand off the keyboard for one second. And I get hit. Yeah, I like. I'll, this is how I rank it. Slybertron number three. Train number one. I don't know why I ranked it like that. And uh, 
the Annihilator number two. Let's do it. We're going for the Annihilator next. Throw that away. Okay. okay. You know, we're starting with almost near full health. We can mess around a little bit, okay? We can mess around. No, we shouldn't mess around. Just kill him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, please. Oh, God. Get him out of here. <laughs> Saliva or Annihilator was one of the ones I had troubles with because of how chaotic it just gets. You just need a flamethrower him. Get him out of here. <laughs> so you saw there were like these things that are homing in on me. I think that was one of the new things. Because I don't remember those things that like homed in on you in the middle of the fight. Because uh, I also could damage them too. Which I'm starting to notice a trend with some of these. Some of them do have like things that chase you down. Like super versions, like super hornet, super eater super probes whatever those things all chase you down i've been noticing that i've been noticing the trend with those that they spawn in things that are just stronger and i'm not saying it's a bad thing but you can get a little bit more creative when it comes to that and i'm assuming that's what they're gonna do in the future um yeah i don't know about this fight i don't know about this fight let's let's get this done quick let's get this done quick please 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 die oh my god they're still alive they're still alive <laughs> Uh, where's the flamethrower? Are these super golems? I don't know. No, they were just regular golems. Oh my god. That was... That was intense. That one was intense. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I kinda need these, so I'm gonna hold on to those. <laughs> kinda need those low-key. Oh, we're running out of space in here. We're running out of space. What do I get rid of? <laughs> Plantera. Hold on to the Plantera bulbs. Um, you know, we can hold on to this too while we're at it. Now fill up this bottom slot. I don't have enough to summon that guy in. All right, so let's do the next one. We're gonna go for an insta kill on this next one. Uh, let's go to spawn, and then we gotta go down to the biome. I think we do. I'm not sure if they're affected by, you know, specifics here. And when I say that, I'm not sure if I need to go to each biome to spawn them in or what. Okay, I went over there because there was a weird hole in the wall, and I was wondering what it was. But check this out. This is really cool. <laughs> this thing that generated in the middle right here is really cool. It was like a weird looking like emblem. And I like that the ore generates like that. It's really cool looking. But yeah, I cut off like half of this emblem. Weird ore emblem. We're going to cut down a little bit more of it. Just make some room to fight here. Uh, that should be good enough because this is a pretty hard boss. And we're going to use the storm cannon on his ass. So we got to have a problem. Whoa, he's looking a little bit different looking a little bit different looking completely different he was a head before he ain't no head anymore he said fuck being a head this dude turned into a goddamn body like a whole entire body i need to stop fucking around with damage and just use my op weapons because these guys hurt these enemies do not play this is the trend i'm noticing right now and i keep trying to use weapons and be all cute about it and show off all my guns and stuff but uh that ain't working so we're gonna just use our op shit we're gonna use our the fungalosphere one of my favorite weapons just because of the way you have to say it fungalosphere fungalosphere that's a cool and fun word to say that's a fun galosphere word to say you like that and then we're gonna use of course book's bullet hell which i have no idea if it's stronger than the hellstorm honestly when it comes to bullets but uh, yeah let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff here let me start holding the treasure bags I guess. I don't know. It don't matter to me. And moving on to the next one. Let's do the wall of flesh. Yeah, sure. This one I feel like we're going to have troubles with. Dioritus and uh, the other one. <laughs> and Andia. Ando and Andy. That one. Doritos and Andy. But uh, let's go ahead. Wall of flesh time, baby. Wait, we should go to the left. Let's go to the left. Go as far to the left as we can. Let's do it kind of interested about this so they got a little bit more of a blue tint to them which is what i was talking about earlier i, I was thinking that they should have more visual features i definitely feel like the wall of flesh or not the wall of flesh i definitely feel like a bunch of them those hungries are a lot stronger is what i noticed from that fight uh a bunch of the bosses should definitely have uh more visual features especially in the eye region because like 90 percent of bosses have eyes so like might as well I'll change up their eyes a little bit boom there's the next thing we got moving on we don't need that ice feather oh uh, we might need it actually moving on we got the next boss here let's do uh plantera 
or yeah let's do one of them i don't know do one of these fucking vanilla bosses and then we'll end it with a dorito and andy all right moving on wait have we not had our buffs active maybe that's why i'm having a little bit of trouble but moving on doing fish on fish on loki beat my ass when i fought him originally so uh we'll see how this works out we will see how this works out in this fight do it unleash the beast where is it you made me waste my whole entire rage you asshole Why do you waste my rage man that's rage right not adrenaline adrenaline is the one where you don't get hit i think Dude, we almost died from that one hit he landed on us by the way deadly ass oh my god he was up there ah we're gonna die please oh my god okay so this is what i'm trying to understand here vanilla bosses vanilla bosses in terraria obviously those are the ones that are going to change and obviously the bosses from the enigma mod itself are the bosses that are going to change the most so from what i know is that they are stronger variants so not only are they stronger variants but we're not playing in normal mode we're playing in expert mode which makes them even stronger variants but also we're not playing in just expert mode we're playing in revengeance which makes them even stronger variants. So I'm gonna just put that into your guys' head, put that into perspective here. Um, we're not fighting just ethereal buffed expert bosses. We're fighting ethereal buff revengeance bosses because he three tapped me, four tapped me, whatever. He did way a lot of damage. I'm not gonna say way too much, but he did a lot of damage. And uh, just letting that be known. I was trying to piece together in my head why the fuck I was getting my cheeks clapped so quickly. And uh, that might be why right there. Because <laughs> these bosses are chunking me. Like literally just destroying me. And uh, I don't have... I don't have much to do against it. Besides just take it. Luckily for us, we have unmasked a lot of essence. So we should be able to... Uh, do a little bit more damage here but not do more damage uh we are able to fight the boss again if we lose the one that is a cool item <laughs> ethereal sack mm. i almost missed the boss here i have no idea how long this episode is gonna be i'm assuming it's gonna be really long it's fine we're not gonna fight the moon lord now but i almost missed this boss i almost missed the duke shark run completely forgot i might have missed a couple other bosses but i'll make sure i'll go through the list and make sure i got it i get all of them am i flying too high oh my god of course i'm flying too high <laughs> Why would I not be flying too high? Alright, so... Ooh, that boy bounced me up. Don't do that. Remember when I got bounced up by him the first time I fought him? I don't remember when it was the first time I fought him, if I'm being honest here. Something spawned in and he's taking a lot of damage. It was a desert. Desert spirit or whatever the hell they're called. Invisible too, by the way. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> I thought it was the thing chasing me around. I was like, hold up, I can't even see her. Alright, boom. Is this the thing? Yep, it is. Okay, boom. Hold on to that. Uh, hopefully I don't forget any more bosses, but we're gonna see. But yeah, let's go take on Duke Fishron. Actually, I should wait for my health to heal. Uh, can we take on this one? <laughs> I guess let's take this one on. We could do it over here. We'll save Duke Fishron for last, I guess, now. It doesn't really matter to me, and order doesn't matter from what I know. But, uh, let's go over here. Hopefully this is enough room. Let me clear out a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's take the digging claws out. Clear out just a slight bit more room. Just in case. You never know. This boss might clap me. This boss might clap me. What did my summon just shoot at? It shot at something. Like, there's actually enemies that spawn a lot. Like, no. There's, like, no enemies that spawn at all. Right? Maybe it saw something in the other dimension. You know, the normal dimension. I don't know. My boy's tripping. My steam gunner control. What's this thing called? A drone? Steam gunner drone. He's tripping. All right, let's. There he goes again. Let's do it. Nope. This. One. Let's do it. God, I'm already terrified. See how fast they came through? They said, "Hold up, what you want?" We're going in. We're going in. Just like that. We ending it. Just like that, baby. All right, so I was looking at the wiki. What was he shooting? I was looking at the wiki a second ago, and... Is that the Leviathan? <laughs> and apparently, the Eater of Worlds has two drops. I don't even know which one we got. Is it a scarf? 
and then there's an eye? I don't know. Something like that. We're gonna fight the Eater of Worlds again, but first. Did I buff up? I'm already buffed up. Cancel that. Alright, let's do it. And I think we can fight the. Wait, what? Doom shot. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> alright, I guess that's all we're gonna fight for now. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to spawn in the duke and we don't have an NPC to do it. So let us go ahead and check out everything here. So we got all this ethereal essence, a lot we can make with it, but we want to make the bars. We can also upgrade our stuff right here, which is not bad at all. 20% damage might be good enough to get rid of the arrows and lose that greatly increased arrow thing. It's not that bad. We're getting 20% damage just because we're losing the speed of our arrows. Boo hoo. Wait, we can make the this moon lord one hold up wait no we shouldn't do that yet we'll do that in the moon lord episode because we haven't even fought the moon lord in our own thing volcanox that's a cool name uh but yeah let's make some actual stuff here so we're gonna make the bars and then we're gonna make the emblem of ethereal so abysmal bars emblem of ethereal let's start with that let's get this emblem ready so we can beat her ass and dip out of here and uh, once we beat her ass, we have the choice to uh, come back into this dimension when we please. Which is good, because obviously I want to take on a lot of the bosses and stuff here. Uh, whatever bosses we miss. So let's start with this. Avalanche and bit. Oh, it's just abysmal. It's not abysmal. So Avalanche, Bismal Blaster, and Drillotron. Avalanche. Okay, I'm missing something, obviously. A chemical infuser. No, I do have that in here. I'm still missing something though. Whatever that is. Frost the rower. Oh, I was this is the thing I was told to make. I was told to make the frost thrower. Titanium bars. I can't read that. <laughs> frost cannon? Can we make a frost cannon? We can't make frost cannon. Oh my god, we need snow. Okay, no, we're just gonna skip that one for now. Uh, abysmal blaster we should be able to make that one boom the blood moon is rising i don't think so this might honestly be better than this i don't know this shoots really quick and it shoots two bullets this one it's got a minus in speed and shoots a lot of bullets three bullets actually that might be good i don't know we gotta try that out we gotta try that out but yeah let's hold on to that and then let's make the armor just because i want to make the armor that's really it i don't think i'm a rocket speak about armor we are rocking a taxi right now if you haven't noticed but yeah abysmal boots so they give you two defense plus 20 more when you're in the dimension that's pretty good movement speed only 20 percent damage it's not even anything crazy drillotron okay so abysmal armor Abysmal armor and then Drillotron. Start with the Drillotron because it's probably going to be the hardest one to remember. Boom. This is that. And then Abysmal armor. Boom. Let me just see this up bonus. Might as well. Boom. So, set bonus is absorb the power of up to three ethereal creatures. I don't know what that means. <laughs> No clue what that means. Let's see the Drillotron in action. Oh, is that, I thought, I don't know, for some reason I thought it shot out drills. That's, that's what it was in my head. <laughs> but let's try it out. It has 2,500% pickaxe power, which is insane. Eight range, and it's a material. What? For what? Drillinator? This thing is God tier, right? This has to be God tier. We're about to see right here. Oh, <laughs> that shit pulled me with it. Oh. <laughs> it pulls you with it. That's awesome. I love that. That's dope as hell. I don't know if I could use that normally, though. That's the problem. Uh, but that's dope. We'll hold on to that. And uh, let's go ahead and let's fight Etheria and end this. All right, here we go. We're fighting Etheria. It's nighttime, right? We'll make it nighttime. We're fighting Etheria. Let's do it. Revenge, run back. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Oh, you gonna you ain't gonna be smiling when you dealt with Ethereal Shadow. Hold up. You got more? You got backup? Nah, get him out of here. 
Get him out of here. They ain't doing nothing to me. Another one. Oh my god. <laughs> She's huge. Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably offensive to her. You look like you're good on your weight. We did it though. Boss has been slain. For some reason, that slime had a little bit too much health. Okay, now, okay. Enemies health are back to normal. Bring good daytime again. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over everything that, sh that we got from that dimension so far. So we got Ethereal Gel, Super Jump Boost, and Super Speed Boost while in the Ethereal. Okay, so they're all Ethereal things. But yeah, this right here, this, let's just pay attention to this first. You can place it too. Uh, the High Priestess allows you to enter and leave the Ethereal at will as long as no powerful creatures are present to stop you. You can place Shadow of itself, which can be wired to enter the Ethereal. So you can place it on the wall and then just right click. Or you can create a teleporter or a button to activate it because this says wired. An odd number of wires need to be connected or it will immediately switch back. Okay, interesting. So you can set up like a button system for it pretty much. Uh, we got the Ethereal Pack. Uh, honey provides triple the normal regen, 15 defense, and 15% damage while in the ethereal. So they all buff you in the ethereal. So I'll let you guys pause the video if you need to. What is that? That's like the cart piece. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not actually reading these. I'm just like rubbing my eyes over them. That's a weird way to say reading. Rubbing my eyes on them. <laughs> in the ethereal, do more damage the lower your life is. While in ethereal, prevent a little, little, little. Uh, choo choo. While in ethereal, the faster you move, higher damage. Taking ethereal is like steamified. Can't move ethereal. Little, little, little. Frostbite. It doesn't say anything about being in the ethereal. It does not say anything about being in the ethereal. I don't know if that's actually an ethereal drop. I just merging lava in lava in the ethereal greatly increased attack. Eh. Beat your body with ethereal energy. What? Oh. <gasps> He gave me another accessory slot? What? Okay, I'll take it. I got no problem with that. If you are grappled to a tile in the ethereal 15, that's actually really good. I like that. Uh, ascension equipable rule from above. I don't get what that does. Uh, and then we got the world of ethereal. Your projectiles are immune to time stop winning the ethereal. Whoa, that sounds pretty OP. That's pretty OP, not gonna lie. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a majority of the ethereal items. There is a couple that we missed, I know. But uh, I think we're gonna end this episode off here. I will check out the rest of the ethereal stuff in either a stream or the next episode. So you guys will have to tune in for that. But yeah, mod dev, if you're watching this, let me know if I miss anything for the next episode slash next stream, whatever I show the content off in next. And, uh... I'll see y'all next time. I just got scared as fuck because it's raining really hard and the wind is really strong outside and some just slammed into my window. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time. I hope I don't die. Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? So I do have a Twitch where I live stream a bunch of content. I do a lot of viewer games. I stream a lot of Terraria and obviously the stream series. They start on Twitch and then they eventually end up YouTube. So make sure to check that out. Link will be in description. It will also be right here on the screen. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and a Discord. Check the description. Those are usually at the bottom of the description. Twitter and Discord is where I notify people that I'm streaming. And I also give, you know, updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out. Or, you know, why there's no video today or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Peace out.